Hey everybody, welcome back. For this Saturday Night Disco episode. Bob TV. We're going to go put on your old disco pants and your platform shoes. <laughs> it's disco night, baby. That's what we're going to do on the next set of wings. It's, that's, that's how we're going to celebrate. It's going to be disco night in the shop. I'm going to get the mirror ball, hang it from the ceiling, <coughs> and put on some of them old disco tunes. <coughs> Stuff. Oh, but anyway, it's fun fill today. There is a boy out there. He's he's a younger guy. I've seen him out there before. Never really. I don't really personally know him. You know, just seen him out there. He's a pretty good kid. You know, loves this art playing stuff. Hates the everyday stuff. <laughs> it's kind of like me. I see a lot of me in him. You know. <laughs> But uh, he built this three engine airplane out of that. You guys seen that core class stuff they you know build them airplanes with and combat with them? Cost them like six bucks to make an airplane. Well, he used downspouts and kind of had three fuselages. <laughs> he said he had 340 motors laying around, and he wasn't using them, they wasn't even the same brand. They were just all 40s, one's like OS, one's something else, and one was something else. But he had the three downspouts and a big old coroplast wing on it. And, uh, uh, he said if he had some more 40s, he would just add another few slots. <laughs> but he got this thing started. It took it off and the dang thing flew great, man. It was it was hilarious. Then he ended up losing two motors with both outboards. First one died and he, he was still floating around pretty good. And then the other outboard died and he still had the center engine running. Running around and landed it. <laughs> it was kinda kind of a comical airplane, you know. Kinda ugly, but Hey, it was cool, it was different. <laughs> That's me right there, kind of cool, kind of different. But that's my, I'm my weekend shaping up. I'm ready for the disco celebration night though. How about my buddy, I want to give a shout out to my buddy down there in South Texas who uh, spent his whole summer fighting fires for you guys with the Cheyenne, Rocky, Mountain, River, Bottom, Volunteer Fire Department. <laughs> What's up, my buddy, Kerry? I know he's ready for disco night. Oh, yeah. What's them little drinks they used to carry around in them trays on in them discos? Them little shots, what was it? Oh, kamikazes. Yeah. You guys remember them kamikazes? What was in them? Uh, lime juice. What was in a kamikaze? That's what we're having. <laughs> the disco night. Kamikaze, so someone needs to figure out how to make them. <laughs> it's lot oh, we used to drink them things. Uh, lime juice and I want to say vodka, but I don't think so. Lime juice. Tell you what I love, man. It's probably my favorite drink as far as whiskey goes or is uh, tequila slammers, okay? You guys need to try this. Okay? You take, you take a shot of tequila, uh, a shot of 7-Up, and then squeeze the lime on it, put your hand over the cup, and slam it down on the table. It'll just start fizzing, man. It'll just start erupting like a volcano. 
when you slam it. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> One night, uh, always, I was still a single. I was probably, I don't know. I'm going to say 21 just for the legal aspect of it. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, I went to Mexico. Brought back one of them great big old bottles of tequila, man. It was like a half gallon. And uh, we sat around my house, me, him, and about six other guys. <laughs> me, him, and about six other guys was sitting around, you know. I had a ton of furniture on three sides of this room. And we were sitting around and we drank that, almost that whole bottle of tequila, man. We was hammered. And I had to work the next day. Oh yeah, I was working for these one of boys. They was kind of cool guys. They was like uh, leftover hippies from the '60s, you know. Mark, Mark used to walk around saying "bitchin', man." <laughs> that was bitchin'. <laughs> but uh, the next morning, oh, they used to just walk in my house. You know, they was actually pretty cool guys. But uh, they walked in. And everyone was passed out exactly where they was sitting the night before. <laughs> Mark walks in and I raise up, you know, and Mark turns his head, he looks around at everybody and says, Bitchin' man. <laughs> oh, I was hung over that day. Ain't nothing worse than a tequila hangover. And you got a big day the next day too. Oh, I'll never forget that. <laughs> here's, here's another fact. Tequila is the reason I don't like mayonnaise. Oh, just the smell of mayonnaise makes me want to puke. <laughs> but this, I was 18 at this time. I remember this well. A friend of mine, old bear, he's called bear. He, uh, it was his birthday. And, uh, we partied, man. We had the tequila flowed, flowed like the river. <laughs> and we had to work the next day, man. And guess where we had to work? We was doing a job in Arkansas. And uh, at the Kraft mayonnaise plant. Oh, yeah. And just the smell of mayonnaise in that place and me puking all day long was, was incredible. But to this day, if I open a jar of mayonnaise, the only way I can eat mayonnaise is in, you know, I make my own ranch dressing, you know, and you gotta mix it in with it. And that's the only way I can eat it, but uh, I open the lid off that mayonnaise, and instantly that day comes back to me. <laughs> What are you doing? Took you the short on that end, but I left some pieces out. Still, I'm a glutton for that tequila. Oh, I love it. You break out some tequila slammers, baby. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Bitchin', man. I'll never forget that. The way he shook his head. Bitchin', man. <laughs> It was funny, everyone woke up, you know, and we started over their eyes. And everyone was sitting in the exact same place. But we was drinking that tequila. That was in the wild days, old Bob don't do that anymore. 